then we can look at some temperature effects. Um, so how does changing temperature affect the solubility of uh, solids and liquids and gases? So these two graphs here, this first one is showing the solubility, so it's the solubility there, so really like how many, in this case, the, the, how many grams of a particular salt can dissolve in 100 grams of water? You can use this problem for, this graph for a homework problem. But that's how we're defining the solubility now. Instead of, uh, you know, moles per liter, it's uh, grams of salt per 100 grams of water. All right, so we're doing solubility on that, uh, on that axis versus temperature. And you can see for most of these solids, most of these salts, um, as you increase the temperature, you increase the solubility. So more of it will dissolve at higher temperatures. There's a few, you know, exceptions here, but we're just going to look at the general trend. So if you increase the temperature, and so increase uh, temperature causes an increase in solubility. All right. That's for solids, um, solids and, and some liquids. Uh, over here, though, if you look at solubility versus temperature for gases, so this, this one's for gas over here, I'm just going to show gases, and this one's really solids, there's a different trend. Um, for at higher temperature, gases want to be gases, so they don't want to be trapped into a liquid. Um, so if you increase the temperature, now you're giving them more kinetic energy, you're giving them more energy to break apart from, break those solute-solvent interactions and um, they would rather be a gas. So if you increase the temperature, you actually decrease the solubility for gases. So if you increase the temperature, you decrease, there's supposed to be arrows, if you increase the temperature, you decrease the solubility um, for gases. Solubility. All right. So a, a real world application of that um, is something called thermal pollution. So you, you may have heard of thermal pollution. And, and that's when you have uh, companies that maybe they have like reactors or something that they want to cool down. And so the way that they cool them down is they run um, kind of, uh, they have these, they run basically cold water around whatever they want to cool down. And then the hot water gets, the, the, the heat gets transferred to the cold water. And then your waste, you know, should be clean. It's just, it's just water. Uh, but the problem is that it's, it's hot water. And so they, they dump hot water into these uh, rivers and streams and, and lakes and things. Um, and, and then they cause thermal pollution. So even though it's only water, it's really, really hot. And so what happens to the, the solubility of gases when they're in hot water? Well, now they don't want to dissolve. Now, like things like oxygen. Okay, so oxygen over here, if you start increasing the temperature, whoa, the solubility goes way down. And then um, the, the little fish that need um, oxygen, you know, dissolved oxygen in, in the, uh, the lakes, it's not going to be there, and then all the fish die. And so that's a sad story. Uh, so that's called thermal pollution.